what you bring to it and other folks bring to um, uh, the project is going to help us evolve it that much more. So that's and that's and I'm looking for folks like yourself who has the um, um, you know the expertise where uh, who's been in the the field educational field and funding field and technology field who knows of these other pieces for example I'll give you another example which you'll be very excited you know um, one of our partners that we're working with um, has technology new technology and a lot of people say well how are you gonna push video in Africa you know how are you gonna push it over a 199 connection phone connection well as of this year there's a company that we'll be looking to work with that actually pushed for the military they're also doing they're doing stuff for the military 150 meg video over a 199 feed without any data loss so the idea of you know you know the main thing as you may have grabbed or captured from my um, hold on let me grab my son here he's he's talking up Oh, come here, buddy. Aish. All right. Let's see if I can get him to calm down. All right. And so the scope of what we're doing is, is very timely because really um, um, a lot of, you know, the other thing people bring up is, so, well, how are you going to distribute the information? You know, most kids don't have a... PC or blah 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 and, I, and and that's also being taken care of with with initiatives like one laptop per child so you know so really I think what we're doing is very timely and um, especially with everyone there's this whole web 2.0 video blogging craze right now um, and w What what which are the what do you mean like Asia and Africa and well you know well it's kind of one of those things where I don't know I'm sure you've you I'm probably more so than you than me but I've always remembered this whole thing about we can feed Africa right I mean for the last four I mean for at least for my life thirty for for twenty years I've been hearing it that we have the ability to feed every person in the world. But yet, there are millions of people dying, right? Every <laughs> exactly. So I'm thinking, you know what? Though with education, I know with one person, like with myself, starting this initiative and getting other people with like-minded um, passion behind it, we can educate the world because it's an intangible, right? We don't have to deliver by a truck food to the mouths of people, but you know, but we can create the we can create an un um uh, a food, uh, an educational source which can't rot that can't go away, but we can distribute as as the t as things evolve to everyone, right? So, um, exactly, I think ex exactly. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. That's great. Well, you know, I love finding like-minded individuals. You know, it's, it's 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 like you know, as you know, I mean, most of fundraising or or is is searching for those diamonds in the rough. You know, and you're kind of a, a relationship building and finding those people who who understand. I mean, because you run across so many people who who only either, either sees barriers or you know are just are just kind of uh, negative or, or you know you know I've talked to a lot of people because education in their mind is so broken the idea of fixing it is like impossible you know you know and to me it's not impossible it's exactly well you know it's like well if America can't fix it how can you fix it you know by yourself or blah 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 and, you know and and or I hear people saying well you know education is so political how are you gonna deal with the politics and I'm like well I don't think we need to deal with the politics because all we need to do is provide the solution the politics will take care of itself so you know and and I don't know if you ca you caught on I mean my whole vision for Eduit is for Eduit to become like the IOC for global education 
Exactly, and the experience, which would be our our tool to whether you know, depending on if you're a mar you know that I plan to, I want us to use every bell and whistle, you know that we've learned to to attract children and youngsters to want to learn, you know, from product giveaways to scholarships to you name it, um, and I think right, and I think we you know and we also have to fight all you know the um all the video games out there so to me they're they're the devil and i'm trying to be the you know the angel so and uh, right right or at least yeah or or the or even in the sense that i'm thinking that as a as a player you're defining the avatar and i like that i don't know if you ever saw the game black and white that's you know I, i'm a firm believer of taking ideas from others and kind of making them better or tweaking them and I like there was a game called black and white that was which you had this little avatar and depending on how you treated the avatar and as it grew up and became powerful it could destroy your own you know your own your own city or be a real menace go around just eating the I mean you were you play uh, black and white is you play a role of a god you know of a god and your 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 avatar is your minion over the people and you can either make a kind little friendly little guy or you know and it's depending on how you how you nurture and treat and I think it would be good education is or that that we have a little bit of that so depending on how the student um their their study behavior their learning attitude their you know do they just quit the quit the video in midstream do they actually finish it and I think having that as the avatar as a reinforcer but we have quite a you know I think we're maybe a, a year away from actually starting in the you know the development of the experience um, maybe uh oh uh oh uh oh what's up what's up buddy okay now what's wrong huh, huh? hey 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 yeah he's actually he's he's a, he's a really good kid so far he's a, he's really good. let me I'll just yeah he um he's actually he's three months old and he's talking to me this is that's talk right there that's that's like daddy's talking i'm gonna talk back yeah. oh, 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 oh. and he's he likes to watch the tv which i think is ordinary with many kids nanny nanny what's wrong mommy's gone for a little bit Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I know, I know. Life's tough as a baby, isn't it? You got all these new feelings. He actually had his first, um, I made him a little mixture of uh, uh, breast milk and uh, banana to see if he's ready to eat. And he actually, uh, just a little, little bit, and he actually uh, ate uh, for the first time today. So so at three months, he was, uh, he didn't, you know, he didn't spit it out or he actually, and he was smiling and enjoying, so. And um, do you have children yourself? Oh, well, you can adopt. You well, tomorrow, you know, you can count uh, Tommy or Tomoki or Tom Tom as adopt him. So everyone else is. So. <laughs> this, that well. Well, we, you know, we're, um, I mean, this is where we're at right now. Um, we have um, what we're calling, actually, this is the code name. Code name Actually, it's called It Smells in School Initiative. So it, IT Smells in School Initiative is going to roll out next year. And what we're doing is we're, um, we right now have 10 project managers globally identified in place. Um, and the way I don't know if you've ever heard of an event called First Night. All right, well, we're, I'm actually taking in a way a, a kind of a a, um, a, uh, a dumbed down model. Of theirs. my background is off is in corporate fundraising, and when I used to be a corporate fundraiser for NCDS Inc., who's who's one of our partners, um, we would basically we were we consider ourselves the the you know the Marines of fundraising, and we would go into a community look at their, uh, they wanted to do an initiative, look at it, uh, tweak it, 
uh, go out and test it, figure out the funding is there, and then actualize the funding in eight to you know eight to twelve months. Whether it was fifty million or thirty million, what it wouldn't matter. We would get the funding pledges, and then it would be gone, and then the organization would be left to collect the money. Right? That's how these big fundraisers, you know, fundraising firms work. Now, um, what I with that in mind, I know that you know that what we're looking to do globally, we it's going to be very unless. We get World Bank funding or um, United Nations or UNESCO serious funding from them, which we're looking at. It's going to be it's going to be problematic for us to go around the world and try to give away this this project product because, for the most part, what's going to happen is we will recruit someone and they will just take the money and sit on their butt and not be you know not do anything right. So the way around it is the idea, and one, our president of communications, Patrick Shaba, who's actually coming over next month to spend three months with me in Japan to nail out a lot of the, a lot of the project uh, development work that we're working on, um, and actually to start the corporate fundraising um, initiative um, for this It Smells in Schools um, uh, project, um, is we're going to treat each project manager kind of like a first night event where we ident- what we're going to do is identify and pro- and 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 provide 65% of the cost of the uh, of the program to bring the IT smells and school the smells initiative into 50 to 75 schools in their region, right? So we're you know so their responsibility the first thing that this project manager is going to do is find um, uh, what's known as a, an executive sponsor. An executive sponsor is some CEO. Um, you know, person who has access to funds that would be willing to make a seventy-five thousand dollar per year for you know for three years investment into the Smells Initiative, right? For their community. Once that's so, so once that's identified, then that you know um, that then we know that region is solvent as a you know. So what First Night does is they don't even do you know what they do is they say, well, here's all the material you do everything right. But what we will actually do is what we're going to do is have project managers identify the you know the potential investors, and then what we'll do through corporate is actually go in and close them and do this you know be the you know uh, be the closers. So they're just doing being so the project manager for the most part are being a research arm, right? And then and then ideally if they're grant they have grant writing skill and that's what the whole thing was actually for our 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 our, our I don't know. I hope you don't think it's a little sneaky, but our international grant writers project was was a way for us to help identify these our project managers, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so that way the grant writers can then be, you know, we'll provide everything the boilerplate because we have six U.S. grant writers, right? We could always use more because there's there's t- right, right. So you know. But you know, there's as you know, there's a lot, there's potentially l- large amount of funding for this project, and it's you know, there, even with six grant writers, we can't get to all the funders um, that are available to us. So what we want to do is actually he's, he's he's three months and he's pretty much standing up on his own weight right now. I've got him on the table and he's like enjoying it. <laughs> So uh, anyway, so so the idea then is for the project manager then to identify like uh, maybe um, chamber, city, regional, um, you know, uh, funding uh, sort you know sources. So um, and then ultimately manage the project, and there'd be a, every community is going to have a kickoff event, you know, um, for for the smells initiative. So. Pretty much, that's what I did when I was fundraising. Except for I would have to raise, you know, all the money by myself. But what we're looking at is uh, greatly simplifying it and really using that project manager as a as a research connect uh, representative for you know for Edgewood. Now, this is the vision. Exactly, because ultimately, too, for dealing with international groups, right? Um, you know, for us to come in as a DC nonprofit into India and, and go and do fundraising, it'd be problematic, as you know. Or if we went into Africa, now what we need is 
like the I again, I'm going to go back to the Olympics now, and that my re, my thesis, my research, actually, what I did in the, my graduate school is all dealing with how the Olympic structure, ironically, is structured. I you know I I don't I just liked what they did globally, and I wanted I knew that there that's the model that for any major change is a great model to use. So what what ultimately what we need to position in the future are our like in the U.S. we have our U.S. Olympic Committee right, and we have the Jap Japanese Olympic Committee, and you have the Indian Olympic Committee, South American Olympic Committee, right? So all these U.S. Um, OCs or the JPOCs, what we needed for Edgewit is to identify our own. Um, 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 you know, uh, gem committees. So you'd have the U.S. Gem Committee, or you'd have the uh, J the Japanese Gem Committee. You know, the Global Education Movement Committee for Edgewit, and ultimately they in the future will be our, you know, like for the, you know, our 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 governing internal governing bodies around the world. You know, um, and as as so. The idea is for these uh, project managers in a way or in a friendly competition to see which region in the country or which project manager is going to hold the mantle the following year as the regional, as the, as the country's lead project manager, right? And that, and so that project manager ultimately, or that region, the country, for example, in India, we have now West India, South India, East India. We don't have North India yet. So there's going to be a little friendly competition within those regions to see who gets the most schools, who gets, you know, uh, raises the most money, right, or identifies potential. And then the following year, all the other regions will answer to that region. So then all of a sudden we have our, you know, our, we, we have the beginnings of our international committees. And, you know, in, by year three, what we're planning internationally is to kick off our, our global fundraising. Now, what we want to do is raise salary for teachers all over the world. You know, uh, um, Japan is a great model for teachers because as a teacher, I'm a teacher in Japan. I am, you know, they look at me as, as one of the highest positions in society. You know, it's, they call you sensei. Sensei is a very honorific name, you know, Michael Sensei, you know. And, um, you know, it doesn't matter if I talk to a politician or whoever, they, you know, they'll call you sensei. Ah, oh, Michael Sensei, nice to meet you, sensei, you know. Um, and what we wanted, and, and also in Japan, teachers are paid very well and they have great benefits and everything else. So, so what, what, Eduit, what we want to do is we do these global fundraising, you know, 10% of the f global fund will go to teacher salaries. And the way that we're going to do that is, to, is, is, is provide fellowships to teachers globally. So as a way to get around, because some places won't let teachers get extra money. But if we have a teachers that are, that are prolific in their education, we'll identify them because of their presentation ability, their student presentation ability, and so on, right? Then what we will do is we'll offer those these lead teachers fellowship positions with Eduit, so they become fellows, and we will use this global fundraising as a mechanism to um, you know to pay them. So, um, and the funds raised within a country would go 10% of that would go there. The other would go towards um, you know our goal is for the experience to be free. The experience will be a for-profit non-profit initiative. Okay. For a number of reasons. One, as you know, as a nonprofit, the sell, I mean, it, it's kind of like the Museum of Metropolitan Arts, the gift shop. You know, the gift shop does more than the ticket sales and it poses a threat to their status as a nonprofit. So potentially, if we're doing a global, you know, um, uh, sell of software, and again, we're not going to sell anything like $40, but let's say even if it was $4.99 to governments or to communities to buy this complete educational game, you know, in, which is going to cost between 50 to a hundred million dollars to create, right? Um, if, ideally, if Eduit can underwrite it completely, then we will make it free. But if we can't, you know, ideally, and we also want to provide invest investment mechanisms to ensure the survivability, just like the Olympics, you know, has, you know, so whether so we are going to have an, actually a number of for-profit arms. That's one of them. So the um, you know so the the experience will be I, what I envision the experience will be more like a movie. You know how you make a movie nowadays, 
where you it's you have a it's all you have all these people investing money and depending on the success everyone takes their share so depending on what Edgewick can invest into the movie as a non you know into the experience and if we need VC if we need investors if we need you know because we do want to provide a vehicle to attract those folks behind us you know because a lot of people are driven by money you know and if again if we need to leverage and get those folks on board um, we can't you know we, we want to be able to because um, what we want to do is produce something that is equivalent to um, the best video game well, you know we don't we want to be cutting edge for a product we don't want to be from, from what I see most educational products are, 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 are kind of very boring for kids they, you know, for for them, they don't. I mean, I mean, for the kids that are used to the the the, the wows and the everquests and the stuff out there, we want to make sure that this product is up there, and it's going to take a lot of money. And and if we can't now, if we can do it for free, then we will. But the idea is, this is a you know, um, um, uh, a kind of a backup. So, uh, I don't know if that if does that make sense at all. Well, it's just right. I mean, there. Ha I mean, yeah. And and um, you know. So again, uh, the Olympics is a great. They've done it. They've been doing it now for a hundred years practically, and they've figured it out. And I don't. I don't know if you're aware, but you know, we're only going to have six for for Eduit. We're only going to have six global sponsors. That's it. So yeah, for Eduit now, we're going to have each regional community is going to have a spot. Has going to have. Uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, four sponsors. So, for example, there will be a, a regional sponsor for West India and, and South India and so on, right? And that's going to be the um, the executive sponsor, right? So the executive sponsor will get visibility within their region. But our lead, just so you understand, our lead sponsor that I'm looking at, and I think I found a group that will will be willing to step up, is at three million per year for two years. Now. What we're we're going to be using some hardware, right? So we've identified a couple, com three or four companies that have the hardware we want to use. Okay. Now understand, they would be looking to make in year one just with a thousand schools. Their return is eight million. So their first year for a three million dollar investment. Now they don't have to pay sales folks. They don't have to pay, you know, um, um, uh, commissions out on their hardware. Um, they're looking at eight million. The second year, it's twenty million. The third year, and this is see what I'm thinking is what's going to happen is their sales force, in a way, is going to be promotional arms for what we're doing, because all of a sudden, because I'm, I'm a sales guy at heart, right? So I'm thinking if I had a, and, and you know, and they're not international. They're only the one company I'm looking at is only U.S. driven, right? So I'm thinking if all of a sudden there's an initiative that's tying in their hardware internationally, okay, and you know, and and we're going to provide the hardware to schools and air areas that can't afford it, or you know, that can't pay the the, the twenty thousand costs for the hardware, right? Because we're going to get all the funding for it through grants, and the community is going to help, uh, you know, play a part of it. And then all of a sudden, what would I do as a sales guy? I would be going after all the private schools and say, wouldn't you want to be part of this initiative? <laughs> so the folks that and maybe come up with a school, buy, you know. Uh, Buying plan so they can afford to buy, you know, buy this expensive hardware over two years or something, and then have them be able to tie into our initiative. So as a sales guy, I would love it because all of a sudden I'd have a new angle. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, hold on. Okay, Tomoki, hey, hey, hey. What's wrong? What's wrong? Woohoo! Nanny, what's wrong? Oh, it's okay. Tomoki, daddy's working. Daddy's working. Uh huh. -huh. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, hey. See if I can, uh, anyway. So, you know, so. Oh, hold on, let me see if I stand up. Sometimes he likes it when I stand up. Hi, right. give me a little break here. Oh, oh we got this.
stomach. I don't know how long that will keep him. That will keep him occupied. And he gave me a hickey on my arm. <laughs> so, all right. So, um, you know. So, really, what we're, you know, so we're at we're at a stage right now where, um, when I founded the Shakespeare Festival, I went from top down. I did the board of directors. Um, once I had the board, I went for funding. Well, because of the nature of this project being so huge, and I knowing if I tell people what we're going to do is flatten global education and this is how, I know that unless I have the team in place to be able to also say, not only do we, this is the plan, but these are the folks who are going to be able to do it. Uh-oh. Okay, buddy. Um, you know, I'm not going to get any buy-in, right, from the types of folks that we need to have as leadership on the board of directors and, and so on for, you know, for what we're doing. Um, so really what, I've, what I'm building is kind of a bottom-up um, direction. So for the last 10 months, I've been building and identifying the team members and so on. And we're, we're close to like 30 people strong now. I don't, I don't have an exact count, but we're over, you know, between um, uh, 20 and 30 folks. Um, and this is the way we're working it right now. Is, is, and I think, you know, you know, looking at your resume and your background, I mean, I can see right off the bat, I'd love to have you on board, you know, and even um, in the way that I'm, how we're, how we're working this is I have everyone working on, on a contingency basis. Uh, contingency is we get funded, right? I don't believe in pro bono work. I've done that when I w did the Shakespeare Festival. Um, we, uh, you know, I had, I, I had over 150,000 in pro bono. Um, uh, in kind, um, not even counting the labor and, and folks working on the project. Now, I, I'm I'm sure you and and you know your response to this, especially with your skill set, you realize the fundability of this project, right? Through grants and stuff. Now, what I'm gonna, what, you know, the key is, is I'm not. We're not gonna fund any person with grants. I just want to make that very clear that no one is, you know, especially my team of six folks that they're work that. They're writing grants to fund themselves because you know that doesn't work. Right? What we the the corporate and we're probably I think we're within three months of securing corporate sponsorship now at where we are. So the funding for this for the for the for the organize for the for the team and the and the and the organization the operating is going to come from corporate sponsorships. And in the meantime, what I'm offering people if they want to work on Eduip. What we what I'm willing to do is sign them a contract that will offer them to pay right now as a way to say, well, we can't pay you on a on a timely fashion, right? Um, because we don't have the operating funds. But if you want to do work, what I'm willing to do is pay or have or write a contract to pay double what your what your going hourly rate is. So in a way, it's saying that's your the double. Well, the double represents your risk factor, right? Yeah, this is important, and Tomoki is, is being honorary. What I'm saying, right, this is key. So the, what we're offering, like you have down uh, $40 an hour, right? If you, if you, right, if, if you want, you know, and I don't, we don't need hourly commitments per week, okay? So, hey, 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 this is important. Let daddy finish this right here. This is the most important part of the whole conversation, <laughs> talking about the money. Okay, maybe if I see if Seal stand up for a little bit. He likes standing up, but he I think he was tired the other a little. Okay, how's that? Is that better? Yeah. Okay, he's standing up. All right. Um, what we're doing is, or what I'm offering folks is for folks to work at double their hourly rate. Okay. All right, hey. Uh, um, with the with the understanding that the the double fee represents uh, um, uh, the fact that we can't pay you on a regular schedule and that the work that you do for Eduit will be paid when funding is secured when corporate funding is secured now ultimately it's your it's your decision on how many hours what you want to work and if you want to work the other the other option is you can just be in a placeholder 
And when funding does happen, then we'll bring you on board at the rate that you st specify in, in your Google contract. Make sense? So it's your choice. So it's completely up to you. If you want to take, I mean, it's a little bit, if you want to work at $80 an hour, at a, you know, and, and you know there's a risk factor to it, I will give you a contract. I only ask because I've got to be fiduciary to the nonprofit is to put a three-year payback clause in the nonprofit just to be so it's fair and reasonable to the organization but with the understanding that we would be looking to pay you back you know probably you know as soon as fun I'm gonna pay everyone off as soon as we get our our corporate sponsors in place so and one we're back Right, I'm gonna. I mean, it's a three million dollar sponsor, and you know, per year for two years, six. Exactly, exactly. So that's when I close. And what I'm gonna do is this: is what I'm gonna do with the sponsor is is they can't afford six million, and they and I want to get Adobe as our second. I'll share with one. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Adobe is gonna be our second level tier. But if I get in, and they're basically killing these people, and these folks have already announced a fourteen million dollar loss. They're hemorrhaging money, you know. And they have the software and the hardware that I want to use. So I'm going to say, listen, I'll make it very, I'll give you a 50% discount, bring you on at, you know, at $3 million for two-year sponsorship. You can make the first payment of $500,000 as good faith, right? And you'll pay the next $500,000 when we meet a certain milestone set by you. So let's say we buy, so the second milestone maybe we buy 500 uh, units of hardware, Right. So we buy 500 units of hardware from them. That's a that's a 500 times 20,000 is what I don't know on top of my head. That's uh, that's what uh, one million. Is that right? I don't know. I don't have a. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a million? Yeah, a million. So I so said, when we hit, when we purchase 500, you know, then you'll release the other 500 and so on, you know? So we'll make it very easy for them. But see, once I have them on board, then I'll go to their competitors and say, well, look, this is where we only have two secondary sponsors, right? So I'm talking to 20 c companies. <laughs> it's the first one who says yes, gets it, right? We already have our lead at 6 million, right? So to, as a sales guy, I know getting the other sponsors is going to be, you know, it won't be that difficult, you know, having coming on. So I really don't. So especially when we have the team and stuff, and I mean, it's pretty, I mean, we, we've, we, we, we already have 10 of the 20 project managers. We already have, I mean, it's, we've got all the folks, we've got all the collaterals being written, everything's coming together. So, um, so it's up to you on how you want to participate. You can, and that's why I say A team, B team. The B team are the ones that are placeholders that will come on board as soon as funding. And I don't mind, you know, we will still, we can still, um, you know, uh, you know, you can still function as an advisor, um, and, you know, and, and, and participate at whatever level. If you want to be active and get access to docs and, and, and kind of get your, get your hands in the mud, so to speak, and really kind of contribute to the strategic development, the vision, the, you know, and, and, you know, ultimately, you know, playing a key role. Because what I'll be looking at is for the A team um, to fulfill, you know, once we have funding, I'm rolling people off their contracts, their their hourly contract, and um, I want to get them on to two year uh, contracts. And and really also it shows me, you know, who who the who the who are those individuals, right? Because it tells me which ones are really dedicated and which ones are are passionate for what we're doing, and which ones are only kind of financially driven. And I really want to build an organization that's are, are built around by passionate people, and not there's too many people out there who just want the dollar. You know, and I've you know, and that, and I respect that, and I don't mind that. You know, because I know that's what life's about. But I want us to be a family, and I want us to be a passionate family for making this happen. So, you know, so it's a way for me to. Um, you know, differentiate the two, and I respect the two. Sure.
Right. And, and like and like I said, I mean, there you you know I don't again I'm not interested in pro bono work. You know I want to pay everyone. You know uh, make it worth their while. And I. Right and yeah of course and and you know and and what what I would want you know this is what I tell my team is like money comes first you know like uh, Heather who's our president for for. Strategic strategic development who'd be your team leader okay which I think you know and um, um, she has been I mean you'll see what she's done I mean the the grant research and everything um, uh, is is she's done an amazing job on it and uh, she's also works 40 hours a week as a waitress you know I work 38 hours a week as a teacher which is unheard I mean for t usually teachers here only work 20 hours I mean uh, the JL, yeah, the English language teacher. So, and as you'll hear from the team, I mean, usually I'm in, you know, I get off work sometimes at nine o'clock and then I work here till two in the morning and then I go to bed and get up at six. I'm on my summer vacation now, which means I can actually go to bed now at four in the morning, which means I can work, you know, and I can, I can, you know, work longer um, for Edgewood since I don't have to get up early and teach um, for the. Sure. I'm looking, yeah, I think, I think we are, I want to, to, to be completely honest with you, what I'm looking at is making the first pitch, and I already, to this organization, um, within, by the end of this month, you know, is to let them know, and what we're going to do is this, is do a feasibility study with them. So what I'm going to do is do a feasibility study with all these potential key sponsors to gauge their, their interest and to kind of pique their interest. Then if they are interested, the next step will be a face-to-face -face proposal meeting. And I already have the person, he's, our, uh, he's on our board of directors, his name's Chris Griggs, he's a long-term friend of mine. He used to work for Bait Worldwide, which is one of the largest ad agencies in the world. And I'm going to have him, yeah, well they're no longer Bates, they were bought by someone else, Anderson or something, but Bates uh, is, is got merged. But he will personally go out and do a face-to-face -face with these guys. They're in, um, they're in uh, um, um, uh, Wisconsin. So he will go there and he's going to do and, you know, uh, a face-to-face -face and meet with them, just like he would any client, you know, like he would do with any client. So he's been doing this for, you know, 15 years as a count. So um, slightly different, selling advertising and, you know, bring on a sponsor is pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to, because I don't want to, you know, I can't do a $3 million pitch over the Skype. It's got to be in person, you know. So, he, you know, and I'll make it worth his, I mean, I'll throw him 10%. If, it, if he brings him on board, whatever he brings him on board, we'll throw him 10%, make it worth his time. And uh, to do that, um, um, you know, so actually, I don't know if I could do that if he's a board member. He's a nominee right now. He's not technically a board member, so I guess I can. <laughs> I got to be careful. I just thought of that. Wait a minute. If I'm as a boy, I actually could. Yeah. So I may have to roll him off the board for that and keep him, put him on the team. So the, yeah, the board, right. And the, so, yeah. Well, you know, I, you got to work around the system, right? That's all the IRS is, the IRS has taught us that, that we got to make sure, I mean, you know, it's a fine line between right and wrong. And, you know, we definitely don't want to be in the wrong. So we just always be sensitive to on the, on the right. So, and I'm, uh, the, 
You know, the other option for funding immediately, I mean, is also your Rolodex. I mean, if you, I mean, for example, one of our strategic, uh, one of our, um, her name's, uh, you'll like her, Rebecca uh, Seal. She's also on our team. She's had, she's an extensive sponsor. And she's actually now talking to individual donors, you know, potential sponsors to come on board. People she knows, I mean, she believes in our project. She knows and, you know, to bring it on. So, I mean, the, the there's also the opportunity there that if you, I mean, with your extensive experience and knowledge, you may have come across someone that would be really excited about what we're doing. And, and um, you know, we have a comp, there, there's a number of naming options or even, uh, you know, for us to come up with. And um, we're also planning a conference in 2010. Originally it was 2009, but it's actually, we bumped it up. Well, we bump and it, yeah, we're looking at Marshall Islands. The person that I was that was that was spearheading the Marshall Islands actually um, got upset with an email I sent him because I, he'd been with the organization for ten months as our president. Now I'm the president and uh, our past president, but I hadn't seen any results, you know. And I'd brought on all the team and everything, and I wrote this: "We need tangibles, not intangible results." And uh, he got a little upset and left. So, um, I, you know, and I. So, it, well, it still may be. It may be in the Philippines or whatever. But, you know, my thing is is never, t you know, if I say something, I'm, I, I, I tend to be, especially in email, I'm not as, as couth as I am when I'm sp spoken, right? So, and I am a per well, th well, thank you. But my, I'm dyslexic, and sometimes I just say it in emails how I think it, you know? Instead of, instead of uh, saying it, if it's, I, I probably, if I was to say it, speak it, I probably would have spoken spoke it differently but I think or it reads differently you know sure Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep, yep. You're going to the UN. You're actually going to the UN. Wow. I'd love for you to represent us there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep. Mhm. Mm Right, and 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 I tell you, well, you know, we have the whole gem. Tr you know, I want to. And I think we've got, or we have another woman. Uh, we have a breeze, Adobe Breeze site, uh, donated to us. Um, right, it's uh, Adol. It's uh, I don't know. Right, right. But you know, we're doing this whole. We want to do a whole series of inter and, and bring on some international folks to discuss. The gem charter, right? Because Eduit, we're gonna we're gonna build the charter, and having you is kind of the, you know, one of the steer. It's not me, okay? It's not me. All right, I am, you know, okay. Having you is is maybe the steering committee or the lead spokesman for Eduit, you know, um, on that or or being one, you know, saying this is, you know, and I think it, not only you know, and and I tell this to the team, I said I want you to leverage the poo out of your position with Eduit, you know, and what you're doing and what we're doing. And with if an open, if you can use Eduit to open doors for you professionally to, to help you, I'd say go for I don't care. I'd say do it, you know, because it's a win-win for both of us then. So, and, you know, right, and having, you know, and having, um, you know, and, and having that, having your, you know, involvement in that would be, I think would be, uh, would be fabulous. And I, you know, and, and, and to keep, 
Right. Well, it'd be still, you know, yeah, we would we would do everything out, you know, it, ideally, I think by that time, we'll have some funding, you know, and uh, we'll bring in a whole, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll treat you as, I mean, everyone on the organization, me included, are all 1099 con- contractors for the first two years. We're not going to have any employees um, until probably uh, two years from now, 2010. That's what I'm thinking. Right. And well, I mean, uh, and it's just, it's just, it makes it easier for the accounting. And I think it, you know, it, it, you know, it makes it, you know, so, well, so I, right. Right. So I think, you know, what I can, what I, you know, I guess at this stage is, it's, 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 is it, is it okay for me to say welcome to the team? Okay. All right. Great. Well, 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 that, you know, I think um, I'm not too worried about that. I think uh, um, if you, you know, as long as you can put a post-it note of, for Eduit on your computer, and if anything, you know, and just keep be thinking of, you know, us or, right, right, right. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to see if uh, uh, what I'll do then is I'm going to share with you a bunch of the uh, the folks. If you want, I'm going to share with you now. Uh, and if you want to rename folks, you can, so you can get them on your Skype. So I'm going to send, and we'll go through them all. And what I did is I do like Eduit. We have we have a number of different committees or groups. We have Eduit Fund or uh, Gem Fund, which is our fundraising, grant writing, government, non government, individual fund raising core right it's our really our um hold on let me say where send where is this send file send contacts um da, 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 da. i'm gonna i'm gonna send you i'm gonna pass you a bunch of and we'll go through them and you can rename them so when you see them online you can um you know uh if uh say hi or or whatever or, or you'll know who there you'll you'll see in a moment Well, G, I tell you, Gmail is great, and it's the best free mail service. It has um, Excel, and it also has Word tied to it. Yeah, so you'll, I will share with you. Um, we have a lot of documents on Gmail, and you can. Uh, it's kind of like a wiki. You can like everyone can who's uh, who's invited can edit it. So I'll share with you our business plan. Our I'll share with you a ton of stuff that you can start kind of really understand understanding what we're doing. And not only that, I'll share with you our budget, and uh, you know I'll be. Sh- and uh, we also have th- there's a non-disclosure agreement that only deals with the technology components. There's some technology that I haven't talked about that we feel will be revolutionary for what we're doing, and um, we're building. There's going to be oh, and something else I didn't mention. You know the other four. Pro- there's a couple other for profits. One of them is actually a campaign management system that's going to be built on. A, a similar MC, NCDS model of fundraising, okay? That's going to be a for-profit component for you know, and, and Eduit will be a client of theirs, um, and own a percentage of the company, or you know, um, because we're going to need a mechanism to fundraise like UNESCO or you know, you know, globally, and we're going to need a system in place to manage the project managers globally, right? The teams, the reporting, all that. So. That doesn't exist anywhere, so we're building that, and it and it makes what we were thinking though. Other nonprofits are interested in raising a lot of money or interested in knowing how these big cats raise money. We will give them. We will basically, uh, for the first year, give it away. So we want nonprofits to use and use our. And it's not like a. Uh, this is nothing like Razor's Edge, which is just a donor management system. This is actually a step by step. Um, uh, mechanism for uh, it's the it's black and white how to raise money. It's it's do this 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 hold this committee talk to these people form this committee do this send out this mailing blah 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 blah. And every we're gonna make it for free. We're gonna prov- once we build it, we're gonna we're, Eduit is gonna you know um um. We're gonna build it for free and give it, you know, and we'll I already know where we're gonna how we're gonna market it. We're gonna market it through uh, um, uh, uh, a GuideStar. 
and we'll probably bring them on as a, an affiliate partner like they have done with their donor they have a they have a donor group that you can that we're tied to for donations um, and uh, we'll do the same thing but we'll give it for free for one year and then after that we'll make it very cheap so maybe just like you know a uh, hundred dollars a month or fifty dollars a month or something for unlimited usage um, of it but if you do the numbers though you know if you do the numbers fifty dollars a month or whatever compared to if you were to buy you know something like razor's edge yeah it's just it's right me too and it's just like a it's just really really right if you don't go to their one week their one week con you know educational conference it's really really a, it's really difficult yeah so you'll like so so that's I mean but the, yeah, I'll tell you right now people who are part of the A-team will get equity and stakes within these companies okay so we want to you know and especially you may be with your experience you may be like helping to develop it or running on it or giving your insight or anything you know other stuff you know on it okay all right, let me all right here I'm trying to get all these folks here you're gonna be inundated with folks in a moment here and you'll find no what I'm saying well that way if you're online you see them or um, you don't have to say hi it's just it's so you know the team so you have the the folks you may I notice you I so um, you may want to um, I can go through them if you want to rename you know you can rename them right you right click and rename now you may I know you're also doing your business and I have a personal Skype account you may want to set up a secondary account just for your company this is just enough because I mean I have, um, you know I was getting a lot I was getting hit on by a lot of women ironically which has never happened to me before on my personal Skype account so so you know Russian and all and I was it was just frustrating because and I, as a woman I, I know it's it's ten times hundred times worse so you know well whatever if you you can either do it with your company's name if you or your nonprofit uh, acronym or something or what whatever you want and then you can you can uh, um, you know, use that, and you kind of a little bit more an uh, anonymity. Anonymity is that what's what's the word? Anonymity. Yeah, I'm in Japan too long. Yeah, a little bit more anonymity. You know, and put up. You could do anonym, 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 yeah, anonymity. So, uh, Right, just invite me. I'll be here, and then I can read. I can, um, or if you, you know, um, um, or if you want to have, um, well, I would just, yeah, I would do another one. Then I could send you the send you the, those folks again, and then you can just uh, label them and uh, know who they are. And the other thing, what we do is I drag people. We have a number of chats. So, for example, I don't know how many are here right now. Let me go to Gem Fund. I call it, yeah. So I can drag. I'll just drag you in here right now. So. Looks like Becky may be there. Phil, uh, Loida might be. Loida is our regional vice president for Philippines. Uh, Ryan is our young tech guru. Um, Patrick, who is our um, uh, president of corporate communications. Um, Russell's our CEO. So a lot of the, a lot of people are invisible. So they may be here, but they may just be invisible. They're not off. And I, I'm always connected to. Right, so um, I'm gonna just write. Hold on, if I can type here. Um, yep. Yeah, please, please. Come, Linda. Lynn, not Linda. All right. Oh, I can't spell team. Yeah. All right. So to the team team so all right so yeah so you're there and they'll if they they're on it's um people come and go we had we just had a big meeting yesterday and we'll probably looks like patrick's on because the other good thing about um um gmail is it has an instant chat too so patrick just came on so he's he's now he's green on my gmail so i can say hey to him
I was gonna see if uh, he's on. Hey, I'm asking him to come to Skype. You can uh, s s uh, meet Patrick. Patrick. Well, I don't know. Did I send you his? He's on the list there. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Maybe, maybe I missed him. Hold on. Let me make make sure I. Uh, hold on. Let me uh, try again. I have a lot of Edgewit people on here. <laughs> uh, send, send, send. Maybe I missed. Uh, did I get Brian Quintero's on? Quintero's in Japan. He's our uh, chief research officer for the teaching tablets. Teaching tablets is is a, is really in, is exploratory right now. It's nothing we're um, it's it, we you know it's it's it, can it be done, how much, so on. And we, what we want to do is identify someone to produce them and give us a dollar for every one sold or something, you know. So we want to like outsource. We don't want to be hardware producers. We just want we'll say we'll we will promote and and sell them or everywhere globally if you make them work you know and um, yep no we just want to just get a dollar or two dollars as a donation for everyone's that everyone's sold to uh, uh, Edgewit alright where is there's Patrick alright okay I think I sent them and Brian Goodman See if he's responding. All right, he just may be logged on. Uh, oops. Oh, my son's awake, but being really good. Yeah. Well, the what I'm going to do is get a. I want you to get in a meeting with um, um, Heather, and um, um, maybe some. Well, she's organizing a, a grant writing meeting. So the next step was meet with her. Uh, also, we have. Have you ever heard of CRM Sugar or sh CRM Systems? Okay, good. Well, we have a CRM system that I'm actually going to be working to set up. Set up user accounts. Um, there, uh, it's a it's a back office system where um, you know we're gonna put all our funders, all our database projects. You can assign to team members different things. Um, so you know that's you know getting familiar with that, getting familiar with Gmail. Um, I can work with you on that once you set up. I can spend maybe 30 minutes to teach you some of the functions. Um, yeah, Gmail. Well, for example, the you know setting up your you can set up your calendar, where you can uh, just put you can think about what times you want to be available for Eduit, or you can set up your like I did. I set up my entire calendar and I use it. Um, so you can the simple way would just say, well, these are the hours I'd be available, and you can just like block them, and then if someone else like Heather can pull up your cal calendar. And if she's scheduling a meeting with other, you know, she can see what what's available with all the. She can look at everyone's calendar together, and it, sweet. Well, that'd be great. And you know, um, Rebecca's in. Where are you located in the U.S.? Oh, sweet. We got someone on the East Coast then. West, that's what I meant. West Coast. I'm just dyslexic. Yeah, what? yeah, Washington State. What? Well, I am a big fan of. Uh, the, well, uh, have you ever been to the Oregon uh, Ashland Oregon Shakespeare Festival? Well, the. You, I am the. Um, I'm. I. I don't know if he's still a, alive, but the founder of that festival was a mentor of mine with the Shakespeare Festival I founded, and I. Uh, Stuart Omans was not Omans. He's that's or, uh, Orlando Shakespeare Festival. Ah, oh, what was his name? I can't think of his name right now. It's a long time ago. 
That's probably him. That's who I'm thinking of, and not Stuart Oman. He's the, yeah, he's the, yeah, it's the founder. Um, no, I'm sure it's the founder. We all did that. All us, all the Shakespeare Festival founders. That's what we we did early on. <laughs> For raising money for our, our our passion. Well, tell me a little bit about your organization, what you're doing. What's what's the focus of your not MPO? Right? Mm hmm mm hmm mm Right. Right. That's wonderful. That's that's You, you know what's a really um, uh, good uh, uh, place to find um, volunteers and interns? Uh, 